To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, select new. And since I'm using millimeters, I'm going to use Akadiso 3D template for metric units and click open. I'm just going to arrange my window. So go to view, tile vertically. I'm going to move this window to the other side. So just click anywhere on the screen on this window, tile vertically. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow by the view cube and select parallel. And I'm going to start working from top view. So click custom view, select top. So we're going to start from here. So type C for circle. And specify center point of circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option. Enter and enter 27. Now I'm going to create a hexagon. So go to home. And inside the draw panel, select uh, polygon and enter the number of sides. So enter 6 and specify center point of polygon. Snap the center and circumscribe about circle and just snap that quadrant. Before we proceed, go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap and selection cycling. Now bring your drawing to Southwest Isometric. So go to Custom View, click that, and select Southwest. Now extrude hexagon. So select uh, Extrude command inside the modeling panel. Select hexagon, enter, and bring it downward for 15 units. I'm just gonna turn off the grid and select the circle. Extrude, downward, and then right click and select taper angle and enter minus 60. And for the height, just make sure it's over 15, over the height of this uh, hexagon. So just click somewhere here and go to solid editing panel, select intersect command and just window the whole thing. Now do the same on the other side. So create a circle, snap that center, snap that uh, midpoint, extrude this one upward, right click and select taper angle. And enter minus 60. Make sure it's higher than the height of the hexagon, so somewhere here, and select intersect and just window the whole thing. Now I'm going to create a circle, snap the center, and enter D for diameter option and enter 18. I'm just going to poke a hole through the center. Select press pull command inside the modeling panel, hover over this circle or this face, left click, release your finger, bring your cursor downward and left click again. So I'm going to create the thread by using helix. So inside the draw panel, so click here, select helix and specify center point of base. So hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time and snap the center here. So shift right click, select center, and snap the quadrant, which is um, 18 uh, units in diameter. And AutoCAD is asking again, specify top radius, which is, so just click diameter and enter 18 again. And turn height, click turn height, and enter 1.5. And bring your cursor upward, so just make sure it's above the height of the helix so somewhere here and we're gonna bring this to front view and change this to wireframe now I'm just gonna hide this one first so hide select the object hover over isolate and select hide object 
I'm going to select um, you behind the circle too. We have a circle there. Hover over isolate and select hide object. C for circle. Click anywhere on the screen. Type D for diameter option and insert 175. Now I'm going to create a rectangle. So inside the draw panel, select polygon and enter number of sides, enter 3. Snap the center. Circumscribe about circle. And snap this one here or this side here. This quadrant. I'm going to move this circle, uh, this uh, rectangle. So move. Snap that in point. And snap the in point here. So shift right click and select in point. Now, as you can see, it's uh, this in point is perpendicular to the end of this helix. If not, you have to use um, 3D rotate. Now, I'm going to do sweep command. Select the object you want to sweep. Right click, enter. Right click again, alignment. Select no because it's already per perpendicular to that um, helix. So just select no. Right click again, select base point. Select that in point as a base point and select the helix. Now I'm going to bring back my hidden object. So right click, hover over isolate and select an object isolation. Alright, so I'm going to bring this to front view. And change this to conceptual. Now I'm going to slice this helix. So go to solid, select slice. Select the object you want to slice, right click, and specify start point. I'm going to start from in point here. Go sideways. Make sure your dynamic input is on or polar tracking. Not dynamic input, I mean polar tracking. And go sideways, make sure it's straight. Click here and specify a point on the desired side. I'm going to select this side. Slice again. This uh, portion here. Specify start point. Start from the in point here. Go sideways. And select that side. If I change this to realistic. Or maybe. Shaded with edges. I think conceptual is better. There you go. And then I'm going to. Union the objects. So if I bring this to top view, I'm just gonna slice this one. So from the middle, go sideways, specify a point on the side side, select the one on top, and you can see the cut there. And I'm just going to change this to realistic. And I think we're done. So what I'm going to do is just undo this one. So thanks for watching. The next one would be assembling the whole thing. So uh, please subscribe. And please don't forget to hit the, sub the bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. And see you again.